we cannot allow this ideology the safe space it needs to breed. Yet that is precisely what the internet and the big companies that provide internet-based services provide. We need to work with allied democratic governments to reach international agreements that regulate cyberspace to prevent the spread of extremist and terrorism planning. And we need to do everything we can at home to reduce the risks of extremism online. British Prime Minister Theresa May after the latest attack in London. What's going on guys, May K Electric? It's Monday the 5th of June 2017. Sorry I haven't been around, I have been paying attention. In fact, I'm looking at signs everywhere of Operation Blackjack, possibly about to play out as we approach the infamous date of June 21, June 2, 2 again. Not saying anything's gonna happen, but man, the parallels are just striking. Read this slide, read it, and then listen to what that woman just had to say. Enjoy this tool we have to communicate. We will not have it forever. When we become enough of a burden on the New World Order, they will shut this bitch down. You will need a government identification card to access the internet. A lot of us called this years ago, but we were crazy, right? Let's get on with some news. Now, of course, this is on the heels of London Bridge attack. Latest gunshots heard as police launch fresh raids in East London. Terror attacks all over. The How's those open borders working for you across the pond? I'll put a link to this. This one also very eerily similar to what's going on in Operation Blackjack. June, June 21, police and security forces raid known militants. Now, these raids have been going on for years now. We just want to throw that out there as the date approaches. Fresh raids going on. Let's see what we got here from Yahoo News. Islamic State calls for all-out war on the West during holy month of Ramadan. It doesn't really matter if these are false flags or real events. I mean, in my opinion, when Jericho Operation Blackjack happens, and I do believe it will happen, that's just my opinion, it will be a false flag. Al-Siyada, if you know what I mean. But we have the perfect cover of all of these people that have been shipped all over the world, all these migrants, calling for all-out war. We got from Breitbart the scope of the situation that we're up against. It's going to be a false flag, but there's going to be a lot of real shit in there, too, because if you remember this video, watch the anti-migrant video going viral across Europe. If you haven't seen this video from November of 2015, that's the situation. Watch that video. You'll be shocked to learn exactly what is happening. Most of us know, but for those who don't, there's your wake-up call. Over here, WHIO reports Trump asked Supreme Court to reinstate travel ban. That's on the heels of this latest thing that went on in London. They're not going to do that. You know why? Open borders, the North American Union. Here we go. U.S. has admitted 46,371 refugees so far. In fiscal year 2017, up 19% in May. Now, that's on top of all the people who are streaming across our southern border still. How about that border wall, huh? Let's see what else we got here from the Daily Caller. We got London's new mayor warns Trump, let Muslims in or they will attack America. Now this came out 5-10-2016. Yeah, to the London mayor. How's that working out for you over there with your open borders? And you're going to tell our president to let the enemy in? I just think that's rather ironic. From Zero Hedge, let's see what we got here. We got uh, George Soros. The European Union is now an existential crisis. Trump's America's hostile power. Oh, come on. If you don't believe that Donald Trump is in on all this, you're lying to yourself. You know, there's some message boards and forums that I hang out on. If you say anything bad about the Messiah Trump, you'll get banned. You're not welcome there. Let me just refresh your memory. The day that Donald Trump fired James Comey through the media, one of the most unprofessional things I've ever seen, but whatever, he's sitting in the White House with Henry Kissinger by his side, and he's talking about what great friends he and Henry Kissinger is. They're old friends. Oh, they've known each other forever. They're best buds. Let me tell you something. Henry Kissinger was there to tell Trump how it's going to be, not the other way around. You need proof of that? Everybody aware of this? Secretive Bilderberg group meetings begin in Virginia in June 1, 2017. Here's the oddest thing of all. This is being reported by BBC News. They don't even care anymore. You got mainstream media covering Bilderberg. Well, we were all called crazy years ago for talking about it. Now it's mainstream. 
Secret group of elite power brokers meeting in the U.S. State of Virginia. Closed door discussions for four days. Bilderberg meetings have 131 participants, 21 countries, Europe, North America, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the group said in a press release, a couple of top advisors to President Donald Trump are to attend 30 miles from the White House is where this is being held. Oh, look at this. Conspiracy theorists. Guess who else is going to be there? Former Secretary of State Henry Kissinger, Bilderberg regular, is due at the conference near Dulles Airport. Now, I don't know if Donald Trump came into office with purely, you know, great intentions to do great things for America. But let me tell you something right now. He is not in charge of America. He's not in charge of jack shit. These are the people that are in charge. Oh, yeah. Do some research on the Bilderberg group. You know? If you don't know who they are, there's your people in charge. We're approaching June 21st, June 22nd. I certainly hope nothing happens, but the signs are everywhere. And these, these attacks, whether false flag or real events, doesn't really matter. They're going to bring in the new world order by any means necessary. Order out of chaos? By the way, I know I'm not posting a lot of videos lately. If you want updates from me, Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Gab. For those of you who don't like Facebook and Twitter, Gab is the alternative. All those links are always at the bottom. I tweet stuff out all the time. When the MI5 increased the terror level last week, I tweeted it out. I didn't make a video because I wasn't quite feeling it. I'm kind of surprised they didn't raise it yesterday with all that's going on in London. But they might raise it in coming days. Always be aware of what the current MI5 level is. Tell me what you make out of all this. Are we getting ready to see the biggest false flag in the history of man? Certainly got the people in place to blame for it. Meanwhile, yeah, North Korea, Iran, Syria, all that stuff's still going on too. I don't want to include this video because I don't want to keep it too long. But tell me your thoughts. Please rate the video. Please pass it around. Make people aware of what's going on. Make people aware of the Bilderberg Group. Make people aware of what Theresa May has to say about the Internet. You see, I don't think they can do that right now. I don't think people will go for that. But remember PNAC, Project for New American Century? They said they needed a Pearl Harbor to do what they wanted to do. And right after they said that, 9-11 happened. So in order for them to take down the Internet and do what they really want to do, they're going to need a big event. It can't be these little events, you know, 10, 20 people die here and there. They're going to do something big to really bring in the New World Order. Of course, that's just my opinion. And I believe it will be Operation Blackjack. I believe it with every bit of my heart and soul that we will see that event. Prepare yourselves. You guys take care. Stay safe. Remain vigilant always. I will see you on the next one.